If you're a fan of intense, heart-pounding, action-packed competition, well then Ames, Iowa was the place to be on Saturday. The championship got kicked off with Texas Tech finishing 1-2-3 in the women's pentathlon while representatives from Iowa State, Oklahoma, and Kansas State finished the day at the top of the men's heptathlon standings. In the evening portion of today's events, Brady Grunner, he had a career day for Kansas State as he started things off with a bang. Afterwards, Grunner talked about his dominant 20.49 meter performance. I've been I've been due due for a big throw this year. Um, I just really used the energy for my team. Like putting four guys in the finals was, was huge for us. Transitioning to the long jump, Akila Jones had one heck of a day as she posted a new women's indoor championship record by jumping 6.75 meters on her way to victory. You want speed? Don't worry, we had plenty of that this evening. The men's 5,000 meter race, well, it came down to the wire. Everett still looks strong, don't sleep on him. It's Keeter, it's Gebert Kadani, it's Everett. Everett on the inside trying to push. Keeter and starting the feed. Watch out, Gebert Kadani, he's gonna take it. Action resumes on Sunday, beginning with the men's heptathlon, kicking off day two at 11 a.m. Central Time. If you want to catch any of tomorrow's action live, then slide your way on over to flowtrack.com and afterwards, let's, you know what, I'm going to try to hurdle. I don't know if I can do it, but we're going to, we're going to hurdle our way over to big12sports.com for highlights, recaps, and much more following the Big 12 Indoor Track and Field Championship. For the Big 12 Digital Network from Ames, Iowa, I'm Mitch Gerber.